Hey everybody and welcome. In this video I just wanted to quickly talk about the Studio 4.12.140, the latest beta update. Before I get started though, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting the notification icon. And of course a huge thank you to my patrons. Your support means a great deal to me. And if you want to support the channel, links to the Patreon are in the description down below. So I've been scouring the Death Studio forums looking at the latest update. And foolishly, like a lot of people, would probably have downloaded the update before actually having read the patch notes because we kind of trust Daz Productions a bit too much and um, a lot of you will now be experiencing the same problem that I am where when you're trying to render you will get CPU fallback i.e. it won't use your GPU it'll try and render using your CPU which is not exactly ideal uh, I'm running at an Intel i9 with liquid cooling and my processor still gets up to like 85, 90 degrees when trying to render a very small scene. So I can only imagine the damage it would do if I was to try and render an entire scene for several hours with the CPU running at that temperature. So there's certain things that we can attempt to do to try and alleviate this such as making sure that we're not manually oversampling, only rendering at the resolution that we need to reduce the number of calculations that IRA has to do. You can also perhaps attempt to, in your advanced, to try and keep your texture compression thresholds nice and low so that the texture rendering isn't too intensive either. Having said that, what a lot of people are having to do is to roll back to the public release, which would be 4.1.0.86, which doesn't have some of the optimizations that 4.1.2.0.186 had, which would make iRay uh, run a little faster. So a lot of people, myself included, are getting quite frustrated with very slow rendering times having been used to things being slightly quicker. Uh, I personally have contacted tech support and attempt to get the previous beta version so that I can start being productive again. However, whether or not they do that, being as it is only a beta build, is, well, we'll find out. But suffice to say, if you're one of those people who hasn't yet downloaded the update, I would strongly advise it. you don't unless you're running on high-end RTX graphics cards such as those available on weplayfast.com. But there's still no guarantee that it will fix your problem because the issue appears to be a memory allocation error. So even if you've got an excess of VRAM in your graphics card, there's still a high possibility that your render will CPU fall back. There's not much you can really do about it other than use the previous person or version or don't update until they have done a bug fix on this one. So you have been warned. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this. I hope I've helped some of you out at least. Give weplayfast.com a look in and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>